Good morning, everyone. Today I'm making something very special for fall. It's called a maple apple crisp. It's a lot different than what we made a few days ago. This has maple syrup in it. It's a little bit different. So we're going to cut up, cut up about four apples. Mm -hmm. Any kind of apple, it doesn't really matter. I prefer delicious. I think we also have a different kind of apple. I'm not sure. I think this is either Roman or McIntyre. I'm not even sure what, what this one is. Probably could have used one more apple, folks. Well, there's nothing much we can do about this. It'll be okay. I'm adding in a quarter cup of syrup on top of the apples. This is going to make it mapley taste. And I'm also adding in a dash of vanilla. Oh, here we go. A dash of vanilla. And where did I put those teaspoons? Here they are. We're adding in about a teaspoon of vanilla. A little bit more than that. Yeah, this is definitely a beautiful, well, it's not really beautiful. It's a wet fall day, but you know. Here we go. Now, what I want to do now, folks, is I want to mix all this together so it doesn't end up, you know, one spot. Let's mix all the apples together. Now, I think we probably should have added in one more apple, but we kind of ran out of apples. We had so many apples, folks. But this should work because we're going to also be putting over a top top. We have to mix everything together and get it well blended before we go to the next step. Okay, spread everything out. No, oh, it smells good. I can imagine what's like up in New England right now with the four foliage. They must be hitting it just about now because we're starting to get it. Okay. Now the next step is going to be the topping. Let's just put this away. Get rid of this. It's sticky. We don't want any sticky stuff all over the place. It's no. Now the next thing I want to do is I'm going to do the crumb topping. I want to add in. I'm going to add in. All right, one and three fourths cup of flour. Okay. You need to use the three-fourths cup because it won't, you know, you want it to come out right. You don't want it to come out that's not so good, you know. So I'm adding a one and three-fourths cup. Pause. Folks, I'm not awake yet in the morning. I meant to say one-third cup of flour. Oh, my goodness. I don't know what's the matter with me today, but okay. It happens. I'm now adding in. One and three-fourths cup of oats. That's where the blunder was. Sorry about that. Folks. And I miss my own guilt. I really do. Alright. Always use oats. One and three-fourths cup of oats. Here we go. Oats, this thing is wonderful. When we were little kids, we used to use this oats and we used to put our colored pencils and it really came in handy. Now we're adding in a half a cup of brown sugar. You have to do it to the tea. It, 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 it was what it came to was it had been a little flowery. It would have been okay, but I really don't recommend it. I re recommend you got to follow the recipe. One half cup of brown sugar. Here we go. Now, what I want to do is mix it together before we go to the cinnamon. And see how much better that looks. That would have been horrible. We would have done it the whole off flour. Ugh. Okay. It happens. Now, the next thing I want to do is add in some cinnamon. I'm going to add in about a half, a, about a teaspoon of cinnamon. All right. I'm going to mix this together. Now, the next thing is, normally I would say put a couple uh, cubes of butter into it, but this has got to be melted. This is what's going to make it come out really good. A half a cup of unsalted butter. Melted. Oh, folks, it smells so good. Oh. We're going to mix this together. Look how that's coming along. Oh. You smell the mixture of the butter and the cinnamon. Oh. Okay. We're going to put this on top of the apples. All right. We're going to douse this all over the place. We don't have one. We're going to drown it with cinnamon. So either way, we're going to have enough. It's going to spread this all over the place. Look how beautiful that's coming along. Oh, it smells so good. Oh. We're going to pop this, folks. Oh. Pop this in the oven and bake this 45 minutes. Folks, look how beautiful this came out. This is called a maple apple crisp. We're going to be doing a lot of maple dishes now, now that we're into October. There's a few shows I happen to be in that I did in October. One is going to be definitely going to be tomorrow, Little Shop of Horrors. anniversary is coming up actually tomorrow. And this is a delicious, like I said, a homemade apple 
maple crisp. You could use any kind of syrup. It doesn't have to be real syrup. You don't have you don't worry about it. You can use any kind of syrup. It's really delicious. A wonderful fall treat. From Deborah Way, Tom Country Kitchen. Have a great day. Please subscribe to a wonderful YouTube channel.